Ultimate outcome in Venezuela, whether strong man Maduro can remain in power or if the government of U.S.-backed Juan Guaido succeeds in taking power remains an open question. But there's another big unknown here, one on the business side, the future of Venezuela's most valuable asset, U.S.-based oil company Citgo. Let's lay out what's going on now and a few possible outcomes. Scenario one, Maduro steps down or is ousted. The U.S. has ordered all Citgo revenues to be diverted to a new U.S. controlled account that will then flow to the Guaido administration. Once Guaido is able to establish a government and quickly replace PDVSA's leadership, the billions flow to them and things carry on. This is the best outcome for companies doing business in Venezuela and for Citgo. Scenario two, if Maduro remains in power, it's likely Russia and China to the rescue because the U.S. government will keep a stranglehold on the Citgo money, starving the Maduro regime of hard cash. He would then likely have to go begging to companies in China and Russia, countries his government already owns tens of billions of dollars to. In this scenario, the U.S. government would likely take steps to make sure Citgo keeps operating and thousands of American employees keep working. Third and final scenario, an auction of Citgo. Russian oil company Rosneft has a 49.9% claim on Citgo, collateral for a loan Venezuela needed three years ago. So if Maduro falls and PDVSA cannot pay back the loan, Rosneft could try to force an auction of Citgo in the courts. That ownership stake has already been called a national security issue by Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, so the U.S. government may try to intervene in that scenario as well. Three options, three outcomes, and a very unusual situation for one of America's largest gasoline refiners. Well, if that wasn't complicated enough, there's actually another big angle to the story called the fourth. You remember, Canadian hedge fund Crystalex has won a $1.4 billion claim against Venezuela that was related to a decade-old case over a stolen gold mine. If Venezuela doesn't pay, Crystalex could seek to force an auction of Citgo to cover that claim. And we reached lawyers for Crystalex over the weekend, and they told CNBC this, quote, Crystalex's judgment is against Venezuela, and its lien is against Venezuela's indirect ownership in Citgo. PDVSA, the state-owned oil company, is currently challenging that lien on appeal. But we are confident that Crystalex will prevail. Even the recent U.S. sanctions appear to allow for the judicial process to continue so that Crystalex's rights can be vindicated. Whatever ultimately happens, it must be a very stressful time to be a Citgo employee. We're going to give you more on this, of course, as it continues to develop.